Okay, uh, we, we are starting section 6.5 on page 456. And uh, this is about the general factoring strategy. So for general, they just, uh, they are combining everything that we learned so far. So the first step is you're gonna look, you're gonna look for a general uh, common factor, uh, sorry, a greatest uh, common factor. Uh, then you're gonna uh, you're gonna look for special forms and finally uh, you're gonna uh, factor trinomials if you have them and that is gonna be the end so uh, let's start solving some examples so I'm going to solve example one on page uh, 457. Uh, this example is just the following. We're going to factor uh, 4x to the 4 minus 16x squared. So first step, we look for uh, a greatest common factor. So let's see if we have a greatest common factor. So for coefficients, uh, 4 is going to work because 4 can divide 4 and can divide 16. And for variables, we're going to use x with the lowest uh, exponent, which is 2. So that's my greatest common factor. So let's factor out the greatest common factor by writing 4x squared, then a parenthesis. And we uh, enclose in this parenthesis our original expression. And remember, we're going to divide every term of this original expression by the greatest common factor. Then we're going to simplify. So we keep our greatest common factor outside of the parenthesis. 4 over 4 uh, cancels. x to the 4 over x squared is going to be x squared. And finally, uh, 16 over 4 is going to be 4 with negative sign and x squared and x squared cancel. So that's the first step. Then the next step is we're going to see whether we can apply a special form uh, uh, formula. So you can see here that you have the difference of two perfect squares. So you can rewrite this as x squared and 4 can be written also as a perfect square by writing 2 squared. So this is going to be my a, this is going to be my b. So now I can write 4x squared, which is the uh, greatest common factor that we factored out before. And then we're going to have to write uh, a plus b times a minus b, because that's the special form uh, formula that we're going to use. So uh, then we're going to write 4x squared that multiplies a is x remember a is just what is inside of the parenthesis uh, plus b which is 2 then we multiply this by x minus b it's conjugate so this is the conjugate of x plus 2 so i we check again we have a difference something here a difference of two terms but the, these are not perfect squares so our work uh, has ended so that's the first example I'm going to solve more examples because that's the only way to to learn something uh, by doing a lot of practice. So we have example 2 on page 457 and now we're going to factor a trinomial. So the trinomial is 3x squared uh, minus 6x uh, minus 45. So first step, we're going to look for a greatest common factor. So in this case, for coefficients, you can see that 3 can divide 3, can divide 6, and can divide 45 evenly. And, and that's it, because x, the variable, doesn't appear in the last term. So to have an, uh, the x as a greatest common factor, you have to have x in every term so this is my my only um, 
this is the greatest common factor. There, there are no variables involved in this case. So let's factor out the greatest common factor. I'm going to write 3 outside of parentheses. Then I'm going to write 3x squared over 3 minus 6x over 3 minus 45 over 3. And uh, we're going to end this um, uh, first step of factoring by simplifying the fractions that are inside this parenthesis. So I have uh, 3 that multiplies uh, 3 over 3 cancels, so you're going to end up with x squared. Negative 6 over 3, you're going to get negative 2. x in the, in the numerator. And finally, negative 45 over 3 is going to be 15. So that's uh, the first step. Now, second step, we're going to look for special forms. So you can see here that you have a trinomial. And this is not a perfect square. This is not a perfect square either. So no special forms in this case. So we finish now factoring the trinomial by using the general technique. So this is uh, 3x squared minus 2x minus 15. Let me write here no special forms. So we go directly to the third step, which is factoring the trinomial. So we have a, b, c. So we know that we are looking for two numbers that when you multiply them, you're going to get uh, a times c, which is 1 times 15 is just negative 15. And also those two numbers, when you add them up, you're going to get the middle term, b, which is negative 2. So we are looking for candidates. So factors of negative 15, so those factors are uh, uh, 3 times 5 is 3 times negative 5 is going to give you a negative 15, but the sum is going to be a uh, positive 2. So 3 plus uh, negative 5 is going to be uh, sorry, it's going to be negative 2. This is what I'm, I'm looking for. So 3 minus 5 is negative 2. So these are my numbers. So you can uh, just break the middle term here. So if you break the middle term, you're going to end up with x squared uh, plus 3x minus 5x minus 15. Then you do factoring by grouping. Remember, we are practicing factoring, so that's the reason we are uh, choosing the, the, long, uh, the long way. So we have 3 here. Then the greatest common factor of these two is just going to be x. That multiplies x squared over x plus 3x over x. So that's my first group. What is the greatest common factor for the second group? It's going to be negative 5. That multiplies negative 5x over negative 5 minus 15 over negative 5. So don't forget the negative uh, signs. So then we would just simplify here the fractions. So you're going to get x squared over x is going to be x. 3x over x is going to be just 3 because you can cancel x with x. Then I have a negative 5 here. Negative 5 and negative 5 uh, cancel. So you end up with x only here. And negative 15 over negative 5 is going to be positive because negative over negative is going to be positive and then you check that you have your common binomial so uh, it's important to see here that we are factoring the negative sign because the negative sign is affecting the leading term of this group someone asked me a question about uh, having uh, these uh, two uh, common by these binomials with the different sign so essentially the, the inverse additive of each other. So that happens when you are uh, factoring the negative sign when you shouldn't. So you only factor the negative sign if the leading term is negative. So continuing with our problem, we have uh, our com uh, common binomial is x plus 3. We have this 3, which is the greatest common factor from the first step. And finally, we create the binomial with the greatest common factors from the sec from, from the third step. So you have x from here and negative 5 from here. So that's the final answer by going through the, the, the long way because you can go directly from here to here. But uh, the purpose of doing this is 
that you're gonna acquire a, a lot of practice you're gonna uh, be able to solve any uh, problem involving factory so let's work uh, another example so we have example 3 on page 458 so in this example so we're gonna factor uh, 7x to the fifth power minus 7x so first step we look for a greatest common factor so it's easy to see here that the greatest common factor is going to be 7 for the coefficients and x for the variables because x appears in both uh, terms and then you choose the, the one with the lowest exponent so let's factor out the greatest common factor uh, uh, and then you're going to have 7x that multiplies 7x to the fifth over 7x minus 7x over 7x so from this step we just get 7x that multiplies x to the 4 because 7 cancels 7 and minus 1 because 7x over 7x is just 1 so the second step is just looking for special forms special form so you have here a difference of two perfect squares so you're gonna write this as x square square remember uh, you divide exponent by two and then you square the resulting expression uh, to to be able to write uh, a term as a perfect square here is just one square so this is my a this is my b so we're going to write this as 7x which is the greatest common factor from the first step times a plus b times a minus b that's the formula that we are using the difference of two perfect squares so that means that we're going to get 7x that multiplies a is x squared plus b is 1 then a minus b so then we check again every piece of this uh, expression so 7x is fine x squared plus 1 is the sum of two perfect squares there is no way to for us to factor this but again we have here two perfect squares so this is x squared minus 1 squared so we have a new a and a new b so now we have 7x that multiplies x squared plus 1 that multiplies now a plus b times a minus b so we need to 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 then the last step so we have 7x that was the greatest common factor from the first step then x squared plus 1 that was one of the binomials that we obtained from special forms now a plus b a is x b is 1 so a is going to be x plus 1 then a minus b just x minus 1 and this is the final answer because these are not perfect squares so we end up um, at this point so let's continue working this the general uh, factoring strategy is just applying all the resources that we learned uh, from previous uh, sections so just the different ways to to factor uh, polynomials so now we're going to work example uh, 4 example 4 on page 458 so now we're going to factor a cubic equation so we have x to the cube minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20 so in this case uh, we don't have a greatest common factor because there is nothing that you can uh, get out of these uh, terms so uh, no greatest common factor so then special forms special forms we don't have uh, binomials here we don't have trinomials here so no special form so we go directly to our uh, general way to factor uh, in this case uh, the only possible 
option is factor by grouping. That was our first uh, technique that we learned. So we're going to have uh, x to the cube minus 5x squared minus 4x plus 20. We're going to group these uh, four terms in two groups. So what is the greatest common factor for the first group? It's going to be just x squared that multiplies x cubed over x squared minus 5x squared over x squared. Now, my leading term in the second group is, is an, a negative quantity, so I'm going to factor the negative sign. So then for coefficients, the greatest common factor is 4. There is no greatest common factor for variables because the variable doesn't appear in the last term, so you're just going to write negative 4x over uh, negative 4 plus 20 over negative 4. So that's um, my factoring by grouping. So let's finish this. We're going to have x squared that multiplies x cubed over x squared is going to be x minus uh, 5 because x squared cancels x squared. Then minus 4. The negative 4 over negative 4 is 1. You just get x. Uh, 20 over negative 4 is going to be negative 5. So we get the common binomial, which is what we were looking for. So then you just write the common binomial and the binomial containing the greatest common factors. So is, is this the final result? Let's inspect. Let's check. So we have the difference here of, of, of two terms. Are these terms perfect squares? Yeah, they are. So we need to get, we need to rewrite this as perfect square. So x squared is just x squared minus 4 is 2 squared. So again, we have a and we have b. So we're going to rewrite this as x minus 5. So we keep the factor. And then this second binomial is going to be uh, written as a plus b times a minus b. So our final answer then is going to be the first factor that I obtained from a previous step and then a plus b so x plus 2 times x minus 2 these conjugates. So and that should be the final answer for example 4. Okay, let's continue. We have uh, two, no, we have two, four more examples before you having the chance to practice the general strategy. So uh, we're going to work now example five. Example five on page um, 459. So now we're going to factor. Uh, a trinomial, so we have 2x cubed minus 24x squared plus 72x. So first step, we look for a greatest common factor. So here you're going to see that for coefficients, you can factor out 2. For variables, you're going to factor x, so we're going to write then 2x that multiplies 2x cubed over 2x minus 24x squared over 2x plus 72x over 2x. So this is a very repetitive process, and we do this in a long way because that's the best way to minimize errors, to, to avoid mistakes. So it's a long process, but it's the best way to prevent uh, uh, committing a mistake. So let's simplify our fractions. So I have 2 over 2 is 1. x cubed over x is going to be x squared. Minus 24 over 2 is negative 12. x squared over x is just x. And finally, x cancels x. So I end up with 72 over 2, over 2 is going to be 36. So that's the first step. Now we're going to check whether we have a uh, special forms. 
so to see whether we have a special form you can check here so is this is a perfect square this is also a perfect square let's write this is x square six square so this is my a this is my b so let's find two a b so two times a b is going to be two times x times uh, b which is six so we're going to get 12x so we see that this quantity matches this quantity so this is a, a, a perfect square trinomial so this is a perfect square trinomial so that means that we're going to use just a and b and, and that's going to be the answer so we're going to write to x because that's my it is common factor that I factor out from a previous step. Then I'm going to write uh, a. Then the, this this is negative, so I'm going to write negative here because the middle term is negative. A minus b square. So the answer is two x. A is x. B is six. So the answer is two x x minus six square. You can also write this as uh, 2x times x minus 6 times x minus 6, which is also uh, equivalent to x minus 6 square. <clears throat> That's example 5. Okay, let's continue with another example. So we have example 6. So let's see example six. That's on page four fifty nine two. So we're gonna factor now a binomial. We're gonna factor a uh, three x to the fifth power plus twenty four x square. So let's see. That's my uh, next example. So first, greatest common factors. So here, for coefficients, we have um, three. Three can divide three, and three can divide twenty-four. And we have x in both terms, so x, and the lowest exponent is two. So that is going to be my greatest common factor. So I'm going to write 3x squared, then I'm going to write my original expression, and I'm going to divide every term from my original expression by the greatest common factor that I, am, that I found, and then I'm going to simplify everything. So 3 over 3 is 1, x to the 5th over x squared is going to be x cubed. Then I have positive here, 24 over 3 is going to be 8, and x squared over x squared is just 1. So now I need to check special forms. So now I have uh, cubes here. So I, I, I need to see whether I can express this as a perfect, as perfect cube. So let's see the first one is just x to the cube plus and the second one 8 can be written as 2 to the cube because 2 times 2 times 2 is going to be 8 so this is my a this is my b so this is the case when you have a plus b uh, this is the case when you have a cube plus b cube equals to a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square so let's use this formula so i'm going to copy my my greatest common factor that i just got from a previous step and then i'm going to write a plus b so a is x and b is 2 this is a plus b that's the first part of the formula the second part is going to be a squared, so I need to square x, 
then I'm going to get the product of AB with a negative sign, so it's going to be 2 times x. And finally, I'm going to square the, uh, I'm going to square B. B is 2, 2 squared is 4. So that's example 6. Okay. So uh, now we have one, we have more, two more examples, and that, with that we're going to finish this section. So I have example 7. Example 7 on page 460. So now we're going to factor another binomial. So this binomial is uh, 32 uh, x to the 4 y minus 2y to the 5th power. So that's my problem. So first thing, let's uh, factor the greatest common factor. So what is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor uh, for coefficients, we only have the number 2 here. For variables, the only variable that appears in both terms is y, and the lowest exponent is just 1. So this is the greatest common factor. So I'm going to write this as 2y that multiplies 32x to the 4y over 2y minus 2y to the 5th over 2y. So we want to get 2y that multiplies 32 over 2 is 16. Uh, x to the 4 only because y vanish, uh, vanishes. Then we have uh, 2 over 2 is 1, y to the 5th uh, over y is going to be y to the 4. So we have the difference of 2, uh, 4 powers, so uh, the 4 powers are perfect squares, so let's see. So the second part then is trying to use the special form uh, products uh, or formulas. So here you can rewrite this as 4x squared squared and here you can write this as y squared squared. So I have a, I have b, so I can write this as 2y that multiplies a plus b and a minus b. So let's see what, what we get from this operation. We're going to get 2y <coughs> and a is 4x squared plus y squared. And this is 4x squared minus y squared. So is this the end of the problem? No. We have the sum of two perfect squares. It's not going to be factor, but we have the difference of two perfect squares again. So what is uh, these uh, terms written as a perfect as perfect square? So the first one is going to be 2x squared minus y squared. So this is my a, this is my b. So I'm going to have 2y, then 4x squared plus y squared, the sum that cannot be factored. And then we're going to have a plus b times a minus b. So the final answer is going to be uh, with a being 2x plus b, which is y, and 2x minus y. So that's the final answer for example uh, 7. So one more example, and then you're going to work uh, uh, by applying this general uh, factor in strategy. So let's so one more example, and then you're going to do your part. So I have example 8 on page 461. So we're going to uh, factor uh, 18x cubed plus 
48x squared y plus 32xy squared. So first, we're going to look for the greatest common factor. So the greatest common factor here. So a number that divides uh, evenly everything is same. That is just number 2. 2 divides 18, 2 divides 48, and 2 divides 32, because these are even numbers. Then x appears everywhere. And the lowest exponent is one, so this is my greatest common factor. I only can, I can only factor two x out of this trinomial. <clears throat> so let's write that uh, down. So it's going to be two x, eighteen x cube, over two x plus forty eight x square y over two x plus thirty two x y square over 2x. So that's the first part. So we simplify here and we're going to get 9x squared plus 24xy uh, plus 16y uh, squared. So we have a trinomial. So this trinomial uh, we're going to check now special forms. Special forms. So we check first whether this is a perfect square and the last term is also a perfect square. Let's check. Can we re rewrite this as a perfect square? Then we, we can write this as 3x squared. What about the last term? We can write it as 4y square so this is my a this is my b so to see whether we have a perfect square trinomial we're going to compute 2ab so it's going to be 2 times 3x times 4y so uh, here you can see that this is going to be 2 times 3 is 6 times 4 is 24 and x times y so we are obtaining the middle term so that means that this is a perfect square trinomial so we only need to use a and b so we can rewrite this as 2x is the greatest common factor from the previous from the, from the first step then we're going to rewrite this trinomial as a perfect square so you're going to write a then the sign from the middle term in this case is positive, so you're going to write positive here, and b squared. So that's, that is going to be our formula. So we're going to write 2x, a is 3x, and b is 4y. And we're going to square this. And that's the final answer. So now you're going to work on... Uh, 6.5 exercise set 6.5 exercise set on page uh, 462 so I solve a example so you're going to need to solve a, almost the same quantity of exercises to get the expertise uh, for you to pass the, the exam that we're going to have in one week so let's see, you're going to solve exam, uh, problem 22, so you're going to factor 5x squared minus 15x minus 50, so that's the first problem, and then we have problem 30, problem 30 is... Uh, 2x to the fifth uh, plus 128x square 128x square then we have problem 54 problem 54 is 
25y square then plus 20y uh, plus 4 then 64 is 21 x square so uh, minus 25x uh, minus 4 so then we have problem 17 uh, 12y cube uh, plus 16y square minus 3y minus 4 then we have 74 uh, y to the 9 minus y to the 5th power and finally 84 is uh, xy uh, minus 5x plus 2y minus 10. So the way that you're going to do this is I would like you to look for the easy ones first. So uh, examine the, the problems, take your time, and then decide which ones you think uh, are going to be the easiest ones. So pick two. Show me your answers, and, and then we can compare uh, your results. The rest of the problems you can solve them uh, later uh, at home, and you can send me your your, your work uh, later to check, uh, to get your classwork points. So I'm, go I'm going to stop the, the recording for you to have uh, time to solve these problems. OK, uh, section 6.6 .6 is now on. So uh, this is on page. 464 that's the last section to complete this chapter and with that we're going to be able to have our uh, next exam on in one week exactly it's going to be online uh, an exam that you're going to solve online so don't forget checking proctorio.com to get the chrome extension that you need to to be able to work your exam remember you're going to have two hours to solve the exam uh, so let's start. Uh, section 6.6 .6 is about solving quadratic equations by factoring. So the first thing is I'm going to write the definition of a quadratic equation. Uh, the definition is on page uh, 465. So the definition is the following. A quadratic equation. A quadratic equation. Uh, in x is an equation is an equation that can be written that can be written in the standard form in the standard form uh, a x square plus bx plus c equal to zero. So where a, b, and c are real numbers uh, with a different than zero. a different than zero. Uh, this equation is also known as a second second degree polynomial equation. Second degree polynomial equation. So that's another name. A second degree polynomial equation or a quadratic ex equation in the standard form. So what is the difference from, from what we did before? Uh, before, we were work, before we were working only with the algebraic expressions. So no equal sign was involved. So we were, we were only with ax uh, squared plus bx plus c. Now we have the equal sign, and in this case, 0. So to solve the, these equations, we're going to factor the factor 
the trinomial uh, equal to zero. So this is important. We have to have everything on the left hand side and zero on the right hand side. Then we're going to apply the zero, the zero product principle. The zero, the zero product principle is on page 465 and it says that if a times b equals to zero, then either a or b is equal to zero, or both. So when you have factors uh, that are multiplying to each other and that's equal to zero, then one of the factors should be or must be equal to zero. So let's see. We're going to solve uh, some problems. Uh, we're going to start with example one on page 466. Uh, and we're going to solve an equation. So uh, the equation, and the equation is. Uh, already in a factor form so it's going to be 3x minus 1 that multiplies x plus 2 and this is equal to 0 so that's my equation the equation is already in factor form so this is a quadratic equation because we have two factors and every factor contains x to the first power so that's the reason this is a quadratic equation this quadratic equation is not written in the standard form remember the standard form is this one this is the standard form okay so let me see uh, we need to meet someone okay so we're gonna apply the zero product principle to find the the solutions for this equation so this is one factor this is maybe a and this is the other factor and this is b and we have here that a times b equals to zero so that means that either the first factor 3x minus 1 equals to zero or the second factor x plus 2 equals to zero so now we have two linear equations two equations that we can uh, solve in a very easy manner so you just need to solve for x in every case so uh, in the first case we're going to add one to both sides of the equation so i'm going to get 3x equals and uh, one and then uh, we're going to have to divide by three both sides of the equation so we're going to get x equals one third so that's the first solution then we have the second case, so we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. So we end up with x equals negative 2. So th th there are two possible uh, cases or solutions. So either x equals 1 third or x equals negative 2. So we used to write the solutions by using the set notation. So you're going to indicate you can enumerate the solutions that you find so this is the, the final answer so x negative 2 and x 1 third so let's solve uh, another problem uh, so here we didn't apply uh, factoring yet because the equation was given in a factor form but in the next example we have example 2 on page 466 so here uh, we're going to solve the following uh, quadratic equation is 2x squared uh, plus 7x uh, minus 4 equal to 0 so here we need to factor 
the left hand side because you you have already zero on the left and right hand side so that's something that is important you need to check all the time that your right hand side is zero otherwise you need to move anything that is on the right hand side to the left hand side so here we have a trinomial the leading coefficient is not one so we need to find uh, the solution so we're gonna uh, write here my trinomial so this is a this is b this is c so i'm going to look for two numbers that when i multiply them i get ac which is in this case negative eight and those numbers when you add them up you're gonna get b which is seven in this case so what are those numbers so uh, uh, let's try a times one okay a times one uh, i need to uh, get one of these negatives so a times a negative one is going to be negative eight and if i add eight and a negative one if i add, add up these two i'm going to get positive seven so my two numbers are eight and negative one to break the middle terms so i'm going to write 2x squared my first term then i'm going to break 7x as ax minus 1x and then minus 4. so now i'm going to do factoring by grouping so factoring by grouping uh, for the first group my greatest common factor is 2 x so i'm going to divide every term by 2x now so and then for the second uh, group i only have negative one as my greatest common factor so negative one x over negative one minus four over negative one so that's my um those are my greatest common factors so let's simplify fractions so in the first case i'm going to get just x from here i'm going to get plus four uh, for this second fraction then i have negative one negative one over negative one is positive one negative four over negative one is going to be positive four i'm getting my common binomial so now i can write this as uh, my common binomial x plus four uh, that multiplies the binomial containing the greatest common factors and this is equal to zero because that's the original equation so you just uh, found the factors for that trinomial so now we're going to apply the zero principle the zero product principle so either x plus four equals to zero or 2x minus 1 equals to 0. So there are only two options. So we subtract 4 from here. So you end up with x equals negative 4. Or you add 1 here. So you have 2x equals 1. You divide by 2. So you get x equals 1 half. So these are your solutions. You write this as a, by using the notation the set notation so negative four and one half are the solutions for uh, example two so now uh, let's work example three so example three example three on page 468 so we're going to solve the following quadratic equation 3x squared equals 2x so the first thing is that my right hand side is not zero this is my right hand side so i need to to move this to the left hand side so the way that we, you're going to do it is just you're going to subtract 2x from both sides of the equation so you end up with 3x squared minus 
2x equals to 0. So now my right hand side is 0. So now I need to factor my left hand side. So uh, the first thing you check for a greatest common factor, remember the, the, the general factoring strategies. So what is the greatest common factor on the left hand side? It's going to be just x. And you're going to end up with 3x squared over x minus 2x over x equals to 0. So I'm doing now the factoring and as a part of the equation. So I'm going to get x, uh, 3x minus 2 equal to 0. So I have my factors now. So I have this is a and this is b. So either a equals to 0. So one option is that x equal to 0. The other option is that 3x minus 2 equals to 0. So let's solve the final linear equations. In the first case, that's already the solution. In the second case, you need to solve for x. So you get 3x equals 2. You divide by 3. So from here, you get x equals 2 over 3. So the two solutions can be written as 0 in one case or 2 over 3. So that's uh, example uh, 3. Now, example 4. Example 4 on page uh, 468. So once I finish these examples, if you have questions, we can have questions after I finish the examples, and then you're going to have your exercise set to work on. So example four is just another quadratic equation that we're going to solve. That quadratic equation is x squared equals uh, 6x minus 9. So again, the right hand side is not 0. So we need to do something about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 6x and I'm going to add 9. In that way, I'm going to be able to, to remove everything from the right hand side. So you get x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to zero because these two cancel so this cancel this cancel so you get zero on the right hand side so now your right hand side is zero so now we can proceed and and solve the problem so we have x squared minus 6x plus 9 equal to zero so we need to factor this trinomial so let's check greatest common factor there is no greatest common factor. Special forms. Let's check the first and the last term with the, to see whether they are uh, perfect squares. So let's see. This is x squared. This is 3 squared. So this is my a. This is my b. So let's find 2ab. 2ab is 2 times x, 2 times 3. So we get 6, which is the same as here. We're going to take care of the sign later. So this is then a, then minus, because there is a minus here, b squared equal to 0. a is x, b is 3, so minus 3, square equal to 0. So this is like having x minus 3 times x minus 3 equal to 0. So that means that x minus 3 is 0 or x minus 3 is 0 so which is the same thing so you have 3 both sides and you finally get x equals 3 so there is only one solution uh, if you repeat the process with this one you're going to get another 3 so you say that 3 has a multiplicity too you're going to learn this in a 
more advanced algebra class, but uh, it matters when you have repeated uh, values, uh, repeated roots in this case. We call any solution for a, a quadratic or polynomial equation is, is known as a root. So this is a repeated root or a repeated uh, or a root with the multiplicity too because it, it is repeated twice. Okay, that's the solution for example four. So let's see, I have one, two. Okay, uh, two more problems and then you're gonna have time to play with this. So let's see example five. Example five on page 469. So we're gonna solve another quadratic equation this time is 9x squared equals 16 again the right hand side is not zero so the right hand side is not zero we need to fix this we need to fix the, the problem because the right hand side is not zero how you're going to subtract 16 from both sides so you're going to be able to see now 9x squared minus 16 equal to 0. So now my right hand side is 0. So this is perfect. So now I can proceed with factoring. So I'm going to factor. I'm going to use special forms because you can recognize this as the difference of two perfect squares because you can rewrite 9x squared as 3x squared. And then you can rewrite 16 as 4 square so this is my a this is my b meaning that we're going to have the product of two conjugates two conjugate binomials so a plus b times a minus b, minus b is going to be equal to zero so a is 3x uh, minus 4 times 3x plus 4 this is going to be equal to zero so i have two possibilities that 3x minus 4 equal to 0 or that 3x plus 4 equal to 0. So from the first one you add 4 to both sides so you get 3x equals 4. Uh, if you continue uh, you're gonna have from here 3x equals 4 so you divide by 3 now so you're gonna get x equals 4 over 3. that's the first scenario the second scenario is going to be subtracting 4 from both sides so you're going to get 3x equals negative 4 so 3x equals negative 4 uh, you're going to divide by 3 again so now you're going to get x equals negative 4 over t. So don't forget the OR operator. So the final answer then is going to be the x is equal to negative 4 over 3, comma 4 over 3. So that's the solution for this problem. The last one, the tricky one, because you can uh, think... Uh, in many ways when you see factor uh, expression so let's see example 6 is very important uh, that's the source of many mistakes the students make so uh, in this case we're going to solve the following we have x minus 2 that multiplies x plus 3 equals 6 so Sometimes students uh, tend to think that they can say x minus 2 equals to 6 or x plus 3 equals to 6, but that's not true. That only works with when you have the right hand side equal to 0. So here you can see that your right hand side is different than 0. So we need to fix this problem. So how are you going to fix this problem? You're going to work a lot. Uh, you need to multiply this. So let's do that. So we have x minus 2, x plus 3 equal to 6. So we're going to multiply 
applying the distributed property here, applying the distributed property here. So I'm going to have x times x is going to be x squared. x times 3 is going to be 3x. Then negative 2 times x is going to be negative 2x. And finally, negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6 equals 6. Then we combine uh, uh, like terms. So you're going to have 3 minus 2 is going to be 1x minus 6 equals 6. Then it is the time to move this from the right hand side to the left hand side by subtracting 6 from both sides. So we're going to get x squared plus x minus 12 equal to 0. So now the right hand side is 0. So that's perfect. Now we can factor the left hand side. So again, so we're going to look for two numbers that when you multiply them, you get a c, which is negative 12. And when you add them up, you're going to get p, which is 1. So what are those numbers? One is positive, the other is negative. So 4 times negative 3 is going to be negative 12. And 4 plus negative 3 is going to be positive 1. So these are my two numbers. So you're just going to need to write x squared plus 4x minus 3x minus 12 equal to 0. Then we do factoring by grouping. So from the first group, you're going to get x. That multiplies x plus 4. From the second group, you're going to factor negative 3. That multiplies uh, x plus 4 again. You can verify that. And finally, you can write this as your common binomial multiplying the binomial containing the greatest common factor. So you're going to uh, work the intermediate steps from here to here at home to be sure that I'm doing the right thing. So now we're going to apply the zero uh, product principle. So x plus 4 should be equal to 0 or x minus 3 should be equal to 0. So you subtract 4 from both sides. So you get x equals negative 4. Or you add 3 to both sides and you get x equals 3. So the solution is uh, negative, two, negative 4, positive 3. So that's the, the solution set. Uh, that's the solution written uh, by using the set notation. So now you're going to work exercises and you're going to give me your answers by using the chat feature of uh, Zoom. So this is 6.6 .6. exercise set on page 473. So you have to solve three problems only. So you, uh, we have plenty of time. So it would be good if you finish these three problems because if you finish these three problems, you're going to pass the exam in one week. So that's mostly what you're going to have factory. So problem 12 is going to be just x squared plus uh, x minus 42 equal to 0. Then we have problem uh, 32. Problem 32 is uh, 9x squared equals 30x minus 25. And finally, problem 50. Problem 50, you have x plus 3 that multiplies 3x plus 5 equals 7. So these are the problems that you're going to work now. So solve these problems. Uh, send me your answers via chat or later uh, by using uh, a screenshot and 
uh, option that Canvas gives you to up upload uh, a file. 